Snipers Hide online training lesson. In this lesson, we had a special request come in from one of the members and they wanted to know about data books. Uh, you see this in a lot of the videos. This is my data book and I'll take you through some of the pages I use. First thing that I'm doing, and this might be a little hard to see, but I'll, I'll get you some pictures of it. Chronograph data. I was just testing some bullets and so I was chronographing it. So I have all my information here. Now I ran both the Magneto Speed and a Lab Radar. So what I did is I recorded both numbers because they did vary a little bit from each other. But I'm looking at my average velocity and my standard deviation under the conditions that I have going on today. And so I'm recording that data. And this is important because if you're seeing a barrel get burned out, this is going to change. Every now and then you want to chronograph your rifles, especially with these faster 6.5s and 6 millimeters. You want to see when this drops off. This is going to be your indicator that your barrel's starting to go south is these big changes in muzzle velocity. More common one, this is the shooter diary. Now I designed this one for Tony. And how this would work is you your date, your time, your location, your ammo caliber, the rifle used, the scope you're looking at. I record my temperature, my barometric pressure, then my density altitude. I removed humidity. Humidity you can put at 50%. For Colorado here, I put 30%. And I use my density altitude. That's what's gonna change. Notes, I have a lot of space for notes here. Um, that way there I can record wind, I rec can record anything that I'm doing. But the most important thing is this little piece right here. You can fill in the range that you're shooting, your mills, MOA, windage and elevation. This becomes a dope chart for you. If you just use this little square right here, that becomes your dope chart. So you have your density altitude matched up to this dope and that'll give you when you see it again. And this is the probably the most popular sheet that I use. I, I mean, I have a bunch of these others, but I don't use them as often. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. That's what the forum section's for. So I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, any questions, fire them away.